Right, hi guys, Luton here, and today I just want to show you about how to get the Network Extensions mod working with the new Skylines Disaster DLC. Now, for those of you who've been watching the playthrough, you'll remember the other day we had a pretty major problem uh, where basically we discovered after a lot of issues that the Disaster tab was not appearing. Well, you can now see that the Disaster tab is here, and you can also see that the Network Extensions mod, which provides a lot of extra roads and all these kind of capabilities, a lot of infrastructure, see small lane road, uh, national road all these kind of things that is now enabled and working uh, and the other thing to check as well is of course the uh, this is the president uh, traffic manager and again that is all working just fine so if I go onto this one I go speed limits and that you can see all the speed limits are working uh, if we do lane connector for example and then going onto this you can see that that is all working as well so there's no issues there in terms of any conflicts or anything that's absolutely fine and all working um, and as I say we've got disasters on now so if we wanted to we can bring disasters and they will happen randomly now what we had to do in order to fix this basically there was a problem where the old Network Extensions Manager mod, which basically had been out for a long time, Network Extensions provides all that extra infrastructure, and uh, since the latest DLC, that had basically bugged out. It was not working, and it basically was conflicting uh, with the disaster DLC. The issue that occurred was that basically the guy who's currently curating it, uh, he was actually able to fix this. and. and get it working again. The trouble was though that because he was just kind of curating it, uh, he was not the original uh, poster of the mod and so he was not able to amend that mod and get it up to date and he also couldn't contact the guy who originally did it. So that meant that they've actually made a new one and we're going to go ahead and look at how to uh, change that up on Steam, it's very straightforward but basically what the... <laughs> I've got so many new buildings, we're going to have to go through all of these when we eventually uh, get back onto the stream. Um, so anyway, we're going to have a look at how to update that. It's very straightforward, but basically it is working now. And you can even, as you see, load up games where you previously were running the old network extensions uh, mod. Uh, you can just load this in and it's uh, working absolutely fine. You can continue your files as you did before. Okay, so now here we are on Steam. So all you want to do, it's very straightforward. You're just going to go down here to the Steam Workshop, browse the workshop, of course. And this is going to take us to City Skylines, the page here. Then we're just going to put in Network Extensions. Okay, and then down here you're going to see some of the network extensions. And right here you can see this is the old Network Extensions Project by Catalyst. Okay, that's unsubbed. Network Extensions 2 by Lazarus Man. You're just going to sub that. That's all you need to do, and then just, as I say, go into City Skylines, run it, and uh, make sure you go into the actual mods and turn on the Network Extensions mod. You can load up your new games, or you can load up previous games. It should work absolutely fine. I have not had any errors yet. If you do get any errors, any issues, what you're going to want to do is click on this. Okay, here's the Network Extensions 2 mod. Okay, you're going to scroll on down, and you're going to want to uh, note here down in the comments and you can tell people what you think about uh, this mod and any of the issues you're having there. Uh, please note, known issues, Traffic++ plus plus V2 is currently not working with this mod. If you can live without it until a fix, uh, they're going to still work with the original. Uh, Traffic++ plus plus V2, of course. Traffic++ plus plus V2 is another mod also created by Catalyst and this was the one which provides a lot of these issues like you know changing intersections and roads and all these kind of things. However, I run this other traffic management mod which a lot of people obviously use which is uh, Traffic Manager President Edition. Um, so far I have not had any issues with this mod in terms of using the new one. I tested it out a little bit. Um, you can see right here it says it's incompatible with Traffic++ plus V2 and so on and so on. Um, again I've not had any issues with it just in the small test that I did today. It's possible that this may have an issue um, but hopefully if there was it would get resolved but as of right now I don't have any problem with it so that's all you need to know guys uh, tell me your thoughts down in the comments hope this has been helpful for you uh, see you next time for some more city skylines as we continue on with our Aurora playthrough